everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Holly Tori, today I'm going to be doing a updated what's in my makeup bag, I feel like I do this video way too often, but it is probably one of my most viewed videos, so I do not really have anything new, uh, but it's always good to um, show you guys what I have, if you go to my Instagram, I will put the link in the description box below, my tag or whatever, you can see some of the makeup looks that I have done, and some that I have done in the past, I'll leave both of my accounts down below. Also, if you go to, um, if you can add me on Snap, I'll put the Snapchat stuff down below. You can add me, you can hit me up, ask questions, whatever. So let's get started. No, I do not have headlights. It just itches right there. I know what someone's going to say. So the first thing that I have, I have this for about a year now. As you can see, my dog Junior got a hold of it, but this is from Kai Cosmetics. And it is the Halloween Hottie Makeup Volume Number 3 Mermaiden 11 piece set, step by step makeup instructions inside. So it just looks like this. There's the front cover, and you see this woman looking like a mermaid, which I think is super pretty. But I could never really do that look. And on the back, it just kind of lists like what products come in here and the ingredients, which I think is great. It also tells you that it is cruelty free. And can last for 24 months, which is two years if you guys didn't know. I typically only try to buy cruelty-free products, but, you know, if you like a product and it's not cruelty-free, no hating. So when you open it, it looks like this. So it almost looks like one of those little Lifesavers books that everyone gets at Christmas, but it just looks like that. On the little flip cover thing, it says... Mermaiden, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to do the look on the front cover, how to do that look. So, that's what it looks like. Um, right here, so it came with these little... Um, so, basically, it has, it has little compartments. Right here was like a brush or a eyeliner pencil or brush. And then you had some fakey lashes. But I don't really do falsies. I don't know why, but I just don't like fake eyelashes. Am I the only girl that doesn't like them? And then I had like a crayon and a lipstick. And then it came with six eyeshadows, which there they are. The first one is like a teal color. And these are matte. So there's what that looks like. I think this one's very pretty very like um 90s Brit Brit that's what it looks like very pretty very pigmented the next one is like a matte pink there's what it looks like kind of looks really good on the eye for just a quick glam look the other one is a glitter this is a black shimmer shadow I don't know if you guys can see the little shimmer in it. I actually really like to use this one for just a quick um, eyeliner if I'm ever out. Then it comes with a gold shimmer shadow, a gold cream shadow, and a black cream shadow. And I got this for $2. It does have these little bungee straps, but again, my dog apparently got a hold of this without me knowing it. So that's that. Getting in, so this is my makeup box. If you guys haven't seen it, by the way, thumbnail. If you guys haven't seen my video um, prior to this one, maybe you should go watch it. But I have, so my mom gave this to me. Um, I don't know the exact brand, but this is what the top of it looks like. The handle broke off when my mom gave it to me. She gave it to me that way. So, and my current fiance, no matter which way I turn this, gave me this Punisher decal. So, I like that a lot. And it's cute. It's like a rose gold color. And it has like these V's, one is glittery. It's just really, really cute. And it has this pretty like gold hardware. Love it so much. And when you open it, it looks like this. So the inside just comes with a mirror. And it has the same little print that my zippers do. So getting to what's inside, the first thing, and I know this is not really a cosmetic item, but I do like to carry these in my makeup bag, are these Assured Soft and Gentle. Feminine cleansing cloths. Obviously, these are um, coochie cloths, but you know, coochie cleansing cloths. But you know, I also use these for makeup removal. They're just good for makeup removal. I get these at the Dollar Tree, and you get 32 for a dollar. 
which I think is a good buy. Um, these are also really, really good for obviously cleaning your downstairs area, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. And they are lavender scented, and they just open like your typical container baby wipes. Love those. The next thing I have is this little travel pouch, and it actually still has a tag on it. So it is a Sophia Joy, and I got this from Walmart in I can't in um, Bainbridge, Georgia. But it just looks like this. And in here are all of my lip products. So I just have gold right here. So it is like pink. It looks kind of like a Victoria's Secret, like honestly. Like if you didn't know the brand, you probably think it was Victoria's Secret, but it's clear. And it has these white pinstripes with like um, rose gold zipper and pink. And it's the Sophia Joy in like this bar metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lip products out of the way. So when you open it, it does this. And yes, I kept the tag on it for my reasons. This is what the inside looks like. So I have oh, all of my lip products in here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start and show you guys. The first thing I have is a LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil in pink. So it just looks like this. And you can see the color of it'll focus. And there's the color. And you just take the cap off. And I'm going to give you guys a quick splotch. So, it's just like a baby pink. I like to use these to create like an ombre lip. Kind of like the Kylie Jenner lip kit, but a dollar. The next thing I got is a Wet n Wild lipstick in Cherry Frost. So, it just looks like this. There's the component. Really, really simple. I like Wet n Wild because they are cruelty free. Um, and this one's like a really pretty glitter Hang, hang on, guys. That looks like a really, like, almost like a pinky red, but it's, like, very pretty. Here, I'm going to take the flashlight and show you guys. Like, look at that color. It's like a very, like, almost like a Jeffree Star Rich Blood meets the lipstick, so definitely love this. This, I use a lot of this in my Halloween season. In the Halloween season. I don't know if you guys can see that, though. But there's a swatch. Next, I have a Huda Beauty. Um, liquid matte lipstick in Venus. So there's what that looks like. First of all, I love the Huda Beauty component because the packaging is a frosted tube, which um, tends to look more bougie. Bougie is my favorite word, and I love how it has the sleek black top. This is much different than what any other cosmetics company is doing. So when you open it, this is like a purpley color. Sorry guys, the light is like really bad in my bedroom, but it's like a purpley color, which I love this. We can have a purple moment, guys, but this is what it looks like. So it's like a very like, there's what it looks like. So it's like almost like a bubblegum purple, like a bubblegum pink, I think. Yeah, there you go. So there's what that looks like. I really got to get some lights up in here. So that's what that looks like. Um, I got this off of eBay. I got the um, the red set from eBay for twenty something dollars. So this came with like ten. But I love this, and when you buff it out, it becomes this really pretty, like almost like a bubblegummy pink. I love it. Next, I have a Jeffrey Star Cosmetics Love Alert Liquid Lipstick in Doll Parts. So this is what it looks like. Jeffree Star's components are just so beautiful and simple, but also very bougie at the same time. So you see the rose gold lettering that says Jeffree Star, and it has the typical pink star cap with the Jeffree Star logo on it. Loves it. It also has the signature doll part sticker. So this one has a very chemical paint smell. I don't know why, but it does. But that's what uh, doll parts looks like, and it's almost similar. So that's what that looks like. I like this color a lot. This one I like to wear when I wear, you know, different colors, but very gorgeous color. Definitely good for the spring. The next one I have is another Huda Beauty, and this one is in Cheerleader, and again with the frosted packaging. I'm not going to open this one because it's more of a brown undertone red. Actually, I will. So this one's a red with, like, brown undertones. This one smells kind of like vanilla meets chemicals. So, and I really, really like this one. Again, this came with the red set. 
The next one I have is a, actually I need some of this, is an LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss in clear, so it's just a simple clear lip gloss, and it is pink because I have used this over top of a lot of my liquid mattes that haven't exactly mattified down, so that's the one that's like that, but I still wear this like all the time. Next, I have another one of those Huda Beauty ones. This one is in Icon. This one's probably one of my favorites because this one's like very, it's not red. Like, it's not red. This one is more of a pink. Yeah, this one's definitely more of a pink color with a bunch of red undertones. I really do like wearing this one. Um, this one looks really good alone. Or you could wear like a clear gloss lip topper if you wanted to, but I definitely love this one. The next thing I have is another one of those chunky lip pencils from LA Colors. Actually, I have three of those. This one's just brand new. I, next thing I'm going to have is a Blistex Strawberry, you know, Raspberry Lemonade Blast, of course, with ESE SPF 15. Um, and it just looks like that. Not too fancy smancy, but I like it. This one's really good for keeping your lips moisturized, especially in the winter because sometimes if you live in a cold place, like a cold climate, um, your lips can get uh, chapped and dry. We're leaning down to the bottom of the lip stuff. The next one I have is another one of those Jeffree Star Cosmic Valor Liquid Lip Cosmetic um, things. I actually got these in a bundle on eBay for $22, but the guy sent me two of the, the red ones, so I gave one to a friend and kept that one. This one is in Rich Blood. And this one, this one does, I feel like Rage Blood does not get enough spotlight. Am I the only one? So it just looks like this. Again, really chemically, but not as painty. But it just looks like that. And a typical doe foot applicator. This one I like to use for liner because, again, um, Jeffree Star's products are ice safe. The next I got is this one. It looks very identical to the Kylie Cosmetics. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my god, is that Kylie Cosmetics? No, bitch. Because my bougie ass cannot afford $36 for a lip gloss. But this one is actually $1.99 from the local, um, I'm not going to be racist, but Black Folks Hair Store. Flag me if you guys want, but I wasn't trying to be racist. But it just looks like this. It's very identical. I guess you could say this could be a dupe of the Kylie Cosmetics, but this one is in Honey Bunny. And the paint for the name of it is worn off, but it's by the brand Forever Matte by Ruby Kisses. Actually, there's the bottom, so you guys can see the color if you're interested. So the packaging is very simple, very classy. And this is what the color, this one's like a very, this one's like the perfect pink nude, like a pinky nude. And this one smells like candy and vanilla. So I really, I really do like this one a lot. And we have three left. The next one is a Ruby Kit No in Absolute New York Intense Lip Polish. Super intense lip color. This is a lip paint in the color First Kiss. This one is probably one of my favorites. So there's what the packaging looks like. Very girly, very... This one reminds me of the NYX Butter butter Gloss um, or the Butter Lingerie or the Lip Lingerie. This one smells just like peaches and is a pretty coral color. So that's what that looks like. Gorgeous. This one I feel like would be really pretty with like a simple smoky eye. Nothing too extravagant like that. Next, I have one of those Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits in Nudie Patootie. Shout out to Miss Laura Lee. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, referring to her. And I love how the packaging is almost, almost identical to Jeffree Star's. Guys, can we take a moment and look at this? Like, it's almost like they might have used the same laboratory because everything is, like, legit. I think they did. But this one's really cute. So this one is the Nude... This one's like a nude with gray undertones. I really do appreciate this one and like to wear this one. The last but not the last thing in my lip collection is a NYX um, lipstick in the color Harmonica. So it's like this very like shimmery pink. This one's very like 
teenager for Brit. Love all of the products so much. Can't believe. And this one would also, I feel like, make a really good concealer if you had to do that. So that's all of my lip products that I keep in this little baggie. Which, again, this bag was like $6 at Walmart. The next thing I have is an e.l.f. palette. And this is the e.l.f. aqua palette. So it just looks like this. It is black. And it has the letters e.l.f. eyes, lips, face, and like this shimmery blue writing. You open it up. And you have this ginormous mirror, which I'm going to shield as not to blind you guys. And it has two colors. One is a rosy color and one is a, like, uh, contour color. And this is in bronze violet. Maybe you be a bronzer. But I definitely, I definitely use the hell out of the bronzer. Next, I have an LA Colors um, five pan palette. Five pan little bar. So this one's in Water World, um, and it just looks like this. These colors are so pretty and shimmery. Definitely very gorgeous. Perfect for creating smoky looks or transition colors. Next, I have my powder. This one is by the brand Forever Matte. Our Ruby Kisses Never Touch Out Forever um, Matte Finish Powder Foundation, and I believe it's a Sandstorm. No, this one's like really dark. This one's like super dark. But this one looks like, and I've already hit the pan. And then you flip it under here and you have like this little mirror. Which, mirrors are really good to have, I feel like. And then it has like a little earring to put like, um, the applicator in. But I mean, you could use this for anything. And I love the packaging. It's very pretty. It's very blue. Next, I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. However, that is not what's in this damn package. I had a container of the Dollar Tree um, makeup sassy and chic moisturizing foundation and the top of it got lost so I didn't want it to leak out of my bag so I just put it in here so I definitely need to buy more but that's what this bottle looks like again and I do I actually and there might be some white and wild in here still but I'll show you guys this one's very similar to the MAC Studio Fix and the Maybelline, or maybe it's Rumble London. I think it's Rumble London Clean Finish Matte. So that's what that looks like. Love that. Next, I have my LA Colors, my mascara. This is LA Colors Boomtastic Volumizing Mascara. So it just looks like that in a very, like, shimmery um, metallic pink tube. And what I like is the paint has worn down, so it almost looks like the paint, like the black of the obviously the uh, original component because obviously this is painted has cracked so it kind of looks really badass this one's in black and i love this packaging it's like very chromatic very badass very rocker and this is what the spoolie looks like so it tilts to actually conform to your lashes um i actually almost ran out of this and i put a little bit of contact solution here and brought it back to life I also have this brush. This is for applying and blending out foundation, and I don't really use this that much, but I just have it in there. Next, I have all of my brushes that I use. Um, mine is the Q-tip, because those are for cleaning my piercing. Next, I have a Sinful Colors Shade Boss Powder Eyeshadow in, I don't know the color, I know I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I think the color is Erotic Black, but this is like super black, um, so, and it's just like a little pot, and I like to use this for like, smoky eyes, transition colors, and of course, liner, and filling in my brows. Next, I have a NYX Glam Shadow in Over the Top, uh, GS22, Over the Top, and this one's like really sparkly and gold. This one actually is a really good highlighter if you're out. Um, that's what it looks like. So this is really pretty. Next, I just have my foundation brush, the one I use the most. Next, I have my eyelash curler. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a buck, obviously. And it works just as good as a big expensive one. Next, I have the LA Color Shadow by Numbers. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This one's an extra credit. I love little quads like this because they're easier to use and they're numbered. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys the colors. So these are what the colors look like. So you get a, like a teal color, a gold, a peach, and a taupe color, which I really like that a lot. 
Next, we have the face palette. You guys know this. This is pretty infamous for being in my makeup box. I know I haven't used it up yet, but it's about time to throw it out because it's been two years. So it just looks like this. And it just says face in like this clear cutout packaging. And it is a bar. So this is pretty much the length of the two. I think this is the length of the Too Faced chocolate bar. And you just pop it open. That's what the inside looks like. And I've hit pan on a couple of the colors. Actually, I did not. This got dropped and broken. So it's probably about ready to, be, to meet the garbage can. But I will do it empties. By the way, guys, I want to do an empties um, photo video thing. Next, I have a Wet n Wild. Um, Icon nail color in black crimp. It's just a black nail polish. I love black nail polish. I got that at the Dollar Tree as well. Next, I have my Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Eyeliner. Um, that is what I have left of it. This is can be compared to the Kat Von D, and I'll just show you how black it is. It's just like really black. Next, I have a CoverGirl eyeshadow in French Vanilla. This is the color enhan or eye enhancers, so they just look like that. It's just a basic white. I love to have white eyeshadow. Next, I have this one. This is a CoverGirl's Cheekers, and I forgot the name of it, but it's a blush. I think this was in Nosy Rosy, but it's just like this, like a very rosy color. Love it. Last but not least, because I do have to, oh, actually not last, because I do still have one other thing, is a Halloween cream base makeup. Um, I like to use this one as concealer, as weird as that sounds, but it actually works. And this is really good for, like, you know, if you mess up, you can, you know, if you mess up a makeup line and you can't access your foundation, then you can just cover this up and it'll, it'll look like it never happened. Last but not least, I do have my LA Colors Brow Wow Pencil. And you just fill in your brows with it, like this. And then you comb it out with a spoolie and blend it, and it just looks fanatical. Love this thing so much. They shout out to my sister for that because she bought it for me. So, guys, that's everything in my makeup bag. If there's any products that you're interested in, you want to know more about, you want to know what product is my least favorite, um, give me a comment down below. Let me know. Bitch it out. Um... If there's a product that maybe you don't disagree or you want to know where I got it, I will try to link everything down below as to where I got everything, but I can know, but no promises. Um, and as always, be kind to each other. If one of you guys disagrees in the comments, don't hate on somebody else just because you don't like their comment. But um, thank you guys and have a great day.